Hello everyone. Welcome to our new moon in Capricorn report. So we're here in January with our new moon in Capricorn. So we have our new moon in Capricorn on the 11th of January 2024. The tagline for this new moon is follow the road that will take you to a new beginning. So we have our new moon in Capricorn on the 11th of January 2024. It's at 20 degrees and 44 minutes of Capricorn and as this is a new moon it sits beside the sun and it's conjunct at the same degree point. Our new moon is at 3.57 a.m. Pacific time, 6.57 a.m. Eastern and 11.57 a.m. UK time. It's a lovely new moon and super time to begin your goals for 2024. Now, if you're a little bit like those people who, you know, you're the kind of person who wants to have New Year's resolutions, I would advise you to wait every year for the new moon. That's the right time to make New Year's resolutions for the year because the energy and the vibration is within the new intention and it's very open to bringing us different things, okay? It helps us to change to upgrade that kind of thing right so i want you to think with this new moon in capricorn about acceleration right it's begun because the new moon actually symbolizes that it has the energy that is high and you're being called to something different to do something different okay um also this new moon is very um, different in the sense that all the planets are sitting on one side of the chart, which is quite interesting too, okay? This is um, a, a mark of a new beginning, and this leans into being tenacious, patient, resourceful, ambitious. These are traits of the mountain goat. Think baby timely steps in order to reach the summit. There is something about the Capricorn energy that, yes, it's very orderly. Yes, it's very practical. Yes, it's very kind of logical because it's planning, sorting, thinking. But Capricorn won't rush where angels fear to tread. It knows what it's doing. It knows it well. And because of that, it can really stand you in good stead if you're trying to move yourself or elevate yourself into something new. It's a sign that calls you to create your dreams in a practical manner. And it has you planning, noting how you can make your way there. Remember, despite the earthiness and its cardinal leadership, the goat is depicted with a fish's tail. It has the capacity to be the dreamer and the achiever. I want you to remember that. Many people forget that about Capricorn as a star sign. It literally has the whole gamut going on there okay so it's very spiritual but it's also very logical and practically it can do the two it could be the balance that we need in this world right i'm not saying all capricorns have that though but yeah it is the balance i'd say we need in this world the energy of this chart linked into uranus the god of the sky and bringing in sudden shifts uranus does that okay it symbolizes that you can lean into change now with this new moon, you understand where you need to go and what you need to do. And this new moon will support you. Both the moon and sun are trying at 19 degrees Uranus, asking you to step up and lead your life to the summit. Because that's what the mountain goat does. It plods up the summit. It plods up the hill. Eventually it gets there. It always gets there. It may not, it may take a long time, but it will get there. And that's what you're being given. You're being given the resourcefulness and the capacity like Capricorn has to move yourself forward. Okay. Um sorry, I've completely lost where I am on my on my thing. Uranus can support you to do something that you might find tricky. Change is symbolized here on the level of career. Um uh, it's on the level, it's very practical things like um maybe you want to move house, it's that kind of Capricorn thinks about all these things. It's all about the way your life is. So it's about goals. It could even be educational to some degree, right? Think about that, all right? Now, if you do struggle to make decisions, then this is definitely the new move for you because it's got a lot of support to help you with the things that you've been struggling with, okay? Um, note this new moon highlights a change in general with the planetary energies just note you're being asked to destroy something before you step up then you can be liberated it's a kind of a liberation energy so get ready to make changes okay 
Capricorn will help you to do what you need to do in a timely manner. Governed by Father Time, this sign is all about ensuring a steady pathway to a new vista. Think of it on the level of, I can trust this step, I can trust this process. The planetary ruler of Capricorn, Saturn in Pisces, is it sorry is in Pisces at four degrees and it aligns to support sustainable growth any void you've created through letting go asks you to think about what you want to fill your void with okay this also creates a foundation as Saturn is all about foundations while Pisces is supporting you to trust what you can't see it's like trusting the invisible in some ways, this is saying that everything you can't see is going to work out and Saturn will support you with decisiveness. It's got a goodness like there's this very decisive energy about this. And Capricorn is decisive. It's much more decisive than most of the other signs. Um, although I would say watch out for things like feeling as if you're being pulled one way or having too many choices. But I'll talk a little bit about more, more about that later. So Pluto still in Capricorn at 29 degrees is symbolizing rising from the ashes like the Phoenix, highlighting that something new is headed your way. There's a sense of time ticking with this aspect. as so if you need to get it done now, and this might make you feel slightly stressed. Step into your strength and only lean into doing what you have been thinking about for a while. What's come to a head, okay? It's about the things that which isn't anything new, okay? This is about the things that have been in your mind for some time, okay? Yeah, makes sense? Because there's a sort of push-pull about this energy. So you may feel like there's too many ideas, there's too many things you can do. Mercury might have your head a little bit confused, okay? So be aware of that, all right? And even if you feel this is your last chance, no, it's not, and look to the positive side of the energy rather than the pushy side. With Venus trying Chiron at 15 degrees, there is a supportive element playing out. Think being open to healing, that which has gone before. There's something loving and kind about the energy that will make you feel optimistic. If you allow it, this will help you to be strong and in the space where you can make choices that are good for you. Think of this as taking inspired action to create that new chapter in your life. With Chiron highlighting clearing and connecting, you will have journeyed through healing certain areas in your life. And start, and you're beginning to feel good about it, right? Well, Capricorn asks you to stop, think about it, and assess what is in front of you, areas might come along and say, let's go. Luckily, the combination of the leadership energy ought to level things out because both Aries and Capricorn are leadership energies because they're both cardinal signs. Let the energy of Capricorn help you to go at a sensible pace. If anything has been a pain or bothering you, this is the time to work on it and heal it. With the energy of the North Node and South Node, you can actually see where you're going and where you're coming from. The energies highlighted here suggest that you'll be bringing something together that has been a challenge for you in the past. Now we're going to do our tarot. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the Rider Weight, the original Rider Weight tarot deck, um, conceived of by A.E. White and designed by Pamela Cole Smith. Now, what I do for our new moon, I do it for full moons as well, is I get us two cards for the energy of the new moon. So let's see what the angels want to bring us. I'm going to have two cards for the energy of the new moon angels. Oh, they've given us two straight off the bat. It's great, isn't it? Amazing. Oh, we've got two major arcana here. Says a lot. Says a lot. I'm not really sure which one came out first because they actually fell. They fell in a really funny way. So, so they fell like, how do I explain it to you? So they fell like that. But that one looked like it was meant to be there and that one looked like it was meant to be there. But I'm just going to read them as they are. So we've got the two cards. So we've got the strength card. Okay. Yeah. We've also got the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I'm, let me see what the angels want to give us for the Strength card. Okay. Okay. Right. So, this is a little bit about what I was talking about. Do you remember I was saying to you, you might feel as if there's too many choices. You might feel as if there's too many options and avenues about these, this whole change. Capricorn's coming in on the new moon, on the level of starting over, and it's bringing you all these different choices, and you just don't know which one to pick, right? So, the Strength card's coming in to say, be strong with regard to this, because, yes, there are lots and lots of different 
different doors, lots of different avenues, but understand what they mean. Allow the energy of Capricorn to teach you what they mean so that you can make a decisive decision as you move forward. What I want to say as well is Capricorn is the first moon of the year and it's going to be the last moon of the, the year as well. So you will have a time and the chance to culminate this. You have this year to get through this, okay? So the angels are asking you to be strong on the level of this year. They're also showing you the infinity symbol, but I'm seeing this on the level of the eight. 2024 is the eight energy. It's on the numerological energy of eight. If you don't know what that's all about, do check out my new, um, sorry, my angel message from 2024. Okay, I will put it on here so it will come up at the end so you can grab that if you haven't seen it yet. But it will really help you to understand what the energies of 2024 are about and what you need to do. So this strength card is definitely saying, yeah, step into understanding how you can be strong through this shit. The other thing that they're saying to me, the angels are actually saying this, is that it's about you... Because I feel that there's a sense of anxiety right now. A lot of you are feeling quite anxious um stressed um, as if it's a struggle because you feel this january like something has to happen I, I can feel that in a lot of you okay i'm um, watching now and you know watching right now i can feel that in you or watching it even further down the line even if you're watching it in the future i can still feel it and the angels are saying to me that you need this strength in order for you to to big to, to to i suppose power up up level you know think of like a game if you want to get to a certain level you have to get that power strong that's kind of they're showing me like the power bar getting stronger they said oh i get it i get what they're saying now so they're saying that you need to power up from now so use this frequency this energy and this springboard to power you up let capricorn ah uh, let the new moon in capricorn springboard you so you feel good now then we step into the Wheel of Fortune. It's really intriguing with the Wheel of Fortune because it can go either way, right? Now I know that. But what they're actually showing it to me is on the level of the fact that the there are many, many different different avenues. So there's all these different avenues and you're not quite sure which one to take. So they're, they're saying to me, because it's on the level of the 10, so they're, saying, they're asking me to ask you to use your leadership potential, your, your strength, your power, your, your powerhouse. Now Capricorn is a cardinal sign, so it, it hangs on that leadership energy. It's strong on that leadership energy. And you're being asked to connect into that. Yeah, definitely connect into that. The other thing they're showing me is that you need to, to write. And it's really funny because all of these little things have got notepads and they're writing something. And they're really pointing it out to me. And I was going to talk about that in the manifestation bit, in the um, your intentions. Yeah, you need to, yes, you 100% you need to write down what you need to be doing. I get it now. They're saying all these options could weigh you down if you don't write them out. Both major cards, both major cards, major frequencies. Okay. And these major frequencies are saying to you guys, you need to step up. You need to hold on because it's going to be a little bit bumpy, but it's also going to be really, really fruitful. You're going to get a lot from it, a, a great deal from it, yeah? Um, the other thing they're showing me as well is that it's like getting rid of stuff that you don't need. You've got to get rid of the things that are no longer going to support you before you move forward with this. It's quite key that you do that. It's, it's symbolic. It's very symbolic. And also, remember to take the journey going, following your North Star. That's what they're saying to me. It's very clear. It's follow the journey following your north start very important it's very key you do that okay so this chart is literally asking you to let go of the former version of yourself there's quite a lot of planets supporting this chart so jupiter's bringing in the energy of change and supporting taurus mars and cappy is asking you to see through um all the rubbish it's heralding the new chapter okay mercury may be confusing things um however once it moves um, the aha moment will filter in and you will see clarity in the choices that you are making. Remember that we're about to move into the new era. By the end of January, with Pluto moving into Aquarius, we're jumping into change. After its one visit back into Cappy this year, and that's um, September, October, but September and October will be back in Capricorn, but only for the two months. Um, it will be in Aquarius until 2044. Think major shift and change for humanity. I want you to know that with Pluto moving out of Cappy, the Capricorn, I love calling it Cappy, it's just me being lazy, <laughs> um, the restrictions and limitations will lift. 
Of course, it does mean other things. I'm thinking of doing a report about the Aquarius Pluto energy if I get the time. If I get the time, I'll pop, pop a report in the on the channel for you. So if you're ready for this, come and join, ready for all of this, I'm ready for this upliftment, come and join my Awakening Angel Consciousness group on Facebook where I help you to upgrade your frequency. There's lots of practices that will help you to begin to move into the galactivity that we are moving into. Our bodies are constantly being imprinted by the thoughts, feelings and energies that we are absorbing. Come and join our high vibe space so you can be assisted to stepping into love. If you're on my Self Love Self Care System blog, it is down in the notes and then you'll be able to get it. And it's also on YouTube down in the notes how you can get to my Facebook Awakening Angel Consciousness group. This new moon may affect people born with personal planets and points at approximately 16 to 24 degrees of the cardinal signs, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn, most significantly. It could also affect you have sun, moon or ascendant in Capricorn. So, new moon intentions. Now, these are actions. I really think for this new moon, you need to get manifesting with the new moon in Capricorn, okay? I'd suggest doing some type of practice that helps you to get clear on what you want going forward. So I'm seeing like with like this cards were showing you journaling, writing things down, writing a plan, making a plan, making a plan. I think it's really, really important this year with Capricorn as the beginning energy and end, and end energy, you make a plan. Please listen to me, make a plan. Because if you fail to plan, you're going to plan to fail, especially with Capricorn holding the beginning of the year and the end of the year energies. It's imperative and important that you get that sorted. I need to do mine too. So I'm sending you all the love. So the dates you've got to do it is 10th, the 11th and the 12th. And from that point forward, you move with your plan. Whether it happens or not, exactly as you put it down, that doesn't matter. It's having that plan and knowing what you'd like to do in this year that's going to really, really help you and supercharge you as you move forward through the rest of the year. Anyway, my lovelies, that is your new moon in Capricorn report for 2024. Isn't it lovely? There you go. I am sending you all so much love. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I'd be so, so grateful. And I'd love it if you like this post. Um, post. You can tell on my Facebook also. Um, yeah, if you'd like this video, it would really help me out. Make, help me to keep this channel going and bring you more content that I'm sure that you will enjoy as we go along. Namaste, everyone. Take care and have a beautiful, beautiful, happy, 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 wonderful, loving, beautiful new moon in Capricorn. Remember, this is the new moon that is very highlighted to assist you, support you and show you the way to get out of anything that has been holding you back. I'm sending you all so much love. Mwah, love you all. Take care. Lots of kisses. Bye. Bye-bye.